Hello members of the Paleo Archive and welcome to another episode of Into the Past. Last time we looked at the alien sea bug Anomalocaris and today we'll be looking at the only known non-avian flying dinosaur, Yi Chi. This weird looking dinosaur was found in the quarry near the city of Hebei, China. When paleontologists were looking at the specimen, they noticed it was heavily covered in feathers, even had a wing membrane covering the arms, which confirmed that Yi Chi was the first and only known non-avian flying dinosaur. In case you didn't know what exactly avian means, avian dinosaurs are the group of theropod dinosaurs which included all modern day birds who survived the KT extinction, the event that killed all non-avian dinosaurs 65 million years ago. This was a groundbreaking discovery as it dived into the wide range of forms that dinosaurs could have evolved to, showcasing their success. Meaning strange wing, it was a small dinosaur being almost the size of a crow and almost a pound, it was a part of a group called the Scansoriopteridae. I can't even spell that fucking science. Which were a subclass of theropods that were native to Asia, generally small with blunt heads and weird elongated fingers, similar to the primate the Ai Ai. They lived around 160 million years ago in the mid Jurassic, right before the golden age of dinosaur diversity. Since the membrane was incomplete from the discovery, Scientists were not sure how the wings were formed, or how the membrane covered the body, which would determine how it flew. Regardless, the main way that scientists believe Yi Chi flew was similar to a flying squirrel, where it could glide short distances between treetops and the ground, and it couldn't fly like birds, given that the muscles in its arm could not accomplish power flight because they probably were too weak. Weirdly enough, Yi Chi with its membrane wings resemble what most people think as a dragon looking animal, which is a very creative assumption. But given that it's, it can only glide and not achieve powered flight, it of course cannot be a possible dragon. Where are my dragons? What else is interesting enough is that Yi Chi's filament feathers, and inside the feathers were cellular organelles called melasomes, which control pigments in which turn give the animal's color were fossilized in perfect condition, and using the melasomes on birds could even guess accurately what color Yi Chi was. Scientists believe that Yi Chi was primarily black and gray with hues of red and yellow in the forearm. An even more strange thing about Yi Chi is that back in 2008, six years before Yi Chi was identified, scientists predicted that Scanopteryx could have had membranous rings in the assumption that Epidepteryx could have possessed wings as well, but not likely. Being just found almost four months ago before this video was made, it is very soon for it to have any pop culture references, but later on I hope it gets the recognition it deserves. Today though, I do not have a sneak peek for the next episode since I will be busy with school being back in, but I do have something special planned for you guys as a special segment will be coming in October. So just definitely watch out for that. Another thing too, if you want to see how Yi Chi could have possibly been an ancestor to dragons, I would recommend you go to the incredibly talented Trey the Explainer, who did a video on the science of dragons and talked about the similarities between the fictional beasts and the Yi Chi. That's all for today, and I hope you all to see you soon. And do like this video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.